What's going on guys? This is Josh with uh, Blanchette Decoys. Posted earlier that I was uh, having a couple special guests up here in the shop from Blue Line Outdoors. Um, got them here right now. Uh, let me go ahead and flip the camera around. Got Brian, aka Rogue. What's up guys? And I got Chris, uh, Keith, aka Chunk. What's up guys? Uh, sitting here painting some goose silhouettes. Uh, Keith had uh, stumbled upon these at a yard sale. Uh, if I, that was correct, uh, I think you got them. What'd you say, forty dollars yeah. or something like that for the? I, th I think I counted a total of seventy-one of these, and these guys are working on different uh, areas. And then uh, over here is where they're in the process of drying, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is, um, going to set my phone somewhere. Why don't you just kind of go on this is the new shop um, for those of you who haven't uh, seen what's been going on um, I have moved and the new shop is here um, got a nice two bay garage um, and then I have my workshop side the duplicator once it's um, I get the last part it was gonna go here um, and then we have the paint side uh, um, hey Josh we got one yeah. real quick Check it what's out. up I was like so so I think I'm doing pretty good on these uh, these wing uh, outlines. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what, Keith? I'm just winging it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you sit in, the, sit in a room full of paint too long. <laughs> yeah. I was uh, about to say that, the fumes. Yeah, the fumes are getting to us. Um, got, our, got my paint table all set up. Um, a few little trinkets so far. With uh, Got to put Mr. Joey up here. Can't beat that. And then um, put in the are new shelf live? today. Are you just doing the video? Live. Live. Okay. Um, put in the new shelf today, um, so I can be able. You're good. So I can start putting ducks up on the shelf and painting them. Um, so I will probably do another video later on. Um, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit the like button here. Also follow. You can also find me on Instagram and YouTube. Um, you can also find these guys at Blue Line Outdoors. MD. Uh, MD on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, I believe, right? Yep. Yes. Yep. YouTube like, as well. Subscribe, share, share. Yep. Like, like share, subscribe, subscribe comment, share, comment. everything. Have questions. Yeah. Feel free to, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, that way I can uh, see what's going on. I don't know if I can see right now or how to put up. Uh, comments normally i can um josh how long you been doing this man um so uh, i've been making decoys for approximately uh it's going on 16 years now uh, uh 16 plus at least, what, seven, eight years? yeah i think so yeah. um let me let me do this so that way i can uh kind of get if you guys want to ask me any questions um I figured that's what I was going to say, since you're live, we might as well do like a little thing here. Yeah, let me see if I can set this up. Sorry, I'm not used to doing the, uh, live with other people. Let's, uh, get set up on Dragonflies. Yes. I've seen a house fly. Butterflies, right? <laughs> yeah, what? Butterflies? Butterflies. Alright. So... Um, if anybody asks any questions right now, I can't really see it. I'm sorry. Um, we're doing work. We, uh, we're doing work, but uh, I'm going to have these guys ask me a couple questions if they want to. Um, and you guys can get to see what, what it's like painting uh, silhouettes getting ready for the hunt season this year. Hey, you can ask questions on this video, too. If like, you have any questions for us, yep. and we'll just respond back to them later on for you guys. Yeah. So, anyway, you, you said how long? Uh... 16 and the 17 years. Mm -hmm. Shit, you know what I could do? I can live stream from my GoPro. There you go. And then that way I can have my phone up and you can see the, see the questions that come in. Ooh. Okay. How many, how many people you got? Well, oh, we can run both at the same time. We could, yeah. Because my this is on my page. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. No problem. Um, yeah. I just got to figure out how to do the uh, live stream. Okay. So, Josh, yeah. between ducks and geese, uh -huh. what's, 
what's your go-to when you're actually out there in the field or on the water? Um, what do you prefer most, ducks or geese? It's a 50-50. Mm -hmm. um, but when, if you're really going to go for it, I'd say more or less, um, it seems like they, the goose season is a little bit longer than the waterfowl. Yep. Um, so I'd probably go with geese. But uh, it is it is fun when you go um, duck hunting and, and you get something different each time, or you get a chance to go see duck hunting. Which if you guys want to go see duck hunting, contact Pitfalls Waterfowl. This is yes. not this is not like at this all sponsored by well. him, but he's got good <coughs> stuff. Trust me. And um, I think Jeff is working on I think his 20th season. Yeah, he's yeah. supposed to be putting up a. Uh, it's a contest out there from what oh, I yeah. saw. It's Pit Boss XX. Yep. Um, I think he's working on his, uh, do you see his uh, world's largest duck boat? I saw 32 that. foot. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I, I've been watching on it. So uh, if you guys, uh, like I said, this is no way, shape, form sponsored by Pit Boss. But um, feel free to go over to his page because he's got some pretty awesome stuff. Um, Especially since he does, does so much with uh, with pit boss grills and um, you know a lot of stuff in general. Yep. Um, but so if you want to go see duck hunting, that's who I suggest for sea duck hunting, um, which is on my bucket list. So um, was fun. It, yeah, I would love to go. Um, my pride, my prize like trophy duck would be like. Still want to get a pin pin tail. Yeah, pin tail. Um, but um, an old squaw would be beautiful. Um, but so I, I would mean to get back to the question. So you know, tend to venture off to where some people. But um, I, I would say it's a 50-50. 50-50. Yeah. There's one um, right here, Keith. Huh? There's one right here. That's what I was looking for. Um, so <clears throat> you're part of Delta. Yes. Explain a little bit about Delta Wars. Um, Delta is a organization that um, basically it's for the hunters. It's not like um, other companies that try to, uh, um, you know, more or less the just for themselves. Yeah. Um, they're for the hunters, <coughs> which is awesome. They we do uh, youth events, uh, first hunts. Um, which is a pretty cool thing to do. Um, there's dinners that they do. Um, there's one going on right now. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it because one, um, I have a little baby due soon, so I'm playing it safe and staying home. So I'm killing two birds with one stone. Congrats on that, by the way. Thanks. Um, killing two birds with one stone and having these guys help me finish painting these just because it's taking That's because we're special, too. Yeah. <laughs> special in the edge. <laughs> uh, but on the aside, it, it is um, Delta is a good group. Uh, great guys. Um, no matter where you go as far as Delta, um, they're always helpful. Um, the guys in the Susquehanna Flats chapter, which is the one I'm part of, um, all great guys. And then we have um, the Lancaster boys, as we call them. Um, from the Lancaster chapter up north in PA. Um, those guys are a real big help as well. Now you all, there's also a uh, female chapter out there, isn't it? Yes, I believe it's called Ladies of Delta. Um, and they're up in Lancaster too. I'd like to give a shout out to them. Yep. They seem like uh, they're really stepping up on their end, bringing mm -hmm. a lot of the females and, and kids involved in it too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, hey, uh, we were just talking about our spot, you know, that we've been hunting. Mm -hmm. um, oh, my God, my mind went blank. <laughs> Brian, step in for a question. Did I forget? <laughs> <laughs> Who did you learn? Who did you learn everything from? Um, I learned how to make decoys from a gentleman by the name of Captain Harry Dude. Harry Dude. Um, I may get a little touchy with this one, which you guys need to understand. Hey, just well. passed. Yep. Um, unfortunately, we lost the great Captain Harry um, this May. Um, but his his legacy will live on um, with the people who he's taught how to make decoys, including 
doing myself. Um, and I, pro I promised I would keep his euphemisms or uh, his name brand things that he used to do all the time alive, um, which is which is awesome. Um, it's also an honor because I, I have before he passed, um, I got the chance to um, visit him real quick to see how he's doing, and um, I was I believe I was. From what I know, I was one of the last people to take him down to his shop, um, and um, it, was, it was well worth it. It was good to see, you know, back in that old setting from when I used to work with him and work well work for him. Um, you see him back in his paint chair and stuff like that, which uh, I'm glad that I I did it. There were times where you know I turned around and I was like, why am I doing this? I got made fun of making decoys in school. Um, got a bunch of name calling, you know, name calling and stuff like that, but. All those who oh, look where you are now. Hate, yeah, all those haters. Guess what? Suck the suck because uh, you made I love a name it. for yourself. Oh, I'm I'm loving it. Sorry, um, I, I'll I will never give this up. Um, but my little boy, whenever he gets here, um, gets old enough, I'm gonna teach him. Are right, you name it him Chunk? No. Why not? That's Chunk's good. a good name. Yeah. Like, um, <laughs> have you seen you? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs>
12 gauge, I, can, I think it's, I can either do two and a half or three inch rounds, um, which is pretty cool. Um, not, very, not very many guns out there really anymore today that I think that can do that. Um, but it is pump. Um, however, I can pop off just as many shells as somebody with an automatic. I've seen it. Um, yes, Keith has seen it. Um, First I am, I am pretty quick when it comes to pumping a fucking shotgun, excuse my language, on the channel, um, and uh, getting what needs to get done very quickly. Brian, you, you just recently picked up a uh, new waterfowl gun. What you pick up? I have just picked up a couple months ago a Stoger M3500. <laughs> And uh, that's three and a half inch shells, right? You take two and three quarter up to three and a half. Yep. Dude, God. Get the fuck some chance. Yep. Um, I mean, at least I ain't nothing with a fully automatic A12. Yeah. You know, that would be freaking awesome. Three shots and like point two boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I heard. Um, so I got a question for you guys since you're here from uh, Blue Line Outdoors. What uh, what's your goal as far as uh, blue line? Start that one, bro. Um, we just kind of want to like engage like the special community within like Park County and the surrounding areas. The people who share like the same interests and all that. Um, and. Bring knowledge and yeah. stories and fun times with friends and family yeah. out there. It's, you know, it's not like we're looking to be on, you know, ESPN on Sunday mornings. Now, yeah. don't get me wrong. That'd be badass. It would be badass. Hell yeah. However, it's, it's, we got to think realistic here. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? This is all the stuff that we do and we use comes from our own money. You yeah. know, it's, it's, it's. It hasn't been gifted to us. You know what I mean? I it, mean, if we could drop our full-time jobs and hunt full-time... I'd become a hooker. Well, that's that way for that, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking like about um, when you're out there on the crab boat. Uh, yeah. Uh, I thought you were talking about the, no. the ones down in Essex. <laughs> so, I mean, this is not... This is the, this channel can sometimes be maybe explicit. So if kids are watching, I'm sorry. No, we're not going to go with that. We're good. Yeah. Um, but... No, I, 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 I mean, we would all love to, to, to be like, you know, the professional um, sportsman out there. Sportsman, I'd love to be a full-time decoy maker. Yeah, well. However, that's not the chance anymore because everybody wants to buy plastics and, you know, have fun with those. Bigfoots and you know, all that. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just, you're not supporting your local people who yeah. went from the original. That, I mean, that's how, and here's, that's here's how hunting, goose hunting, and all that came to be. Exactly. And, and, how, and, and what my thing is, though, too, is, I mean, granted, for the price of one, you know, a pair of wooden decoys, you can get, you know, a dozen plastics. However, if you shoot that plastic once, it's gone. It's yep. not good anymore. You know, unless you got a buddy and know what you're doing and you know the paint and everything like that, it's nothing. But um, I I I will continue to hunt over woodies. Um, Keith can actually attest to this. Last, this year I put it on a, a pair of mallards in a pump in a little puddle. Yep. <laughs> that was that was in front of the blind. Um, and we saw we saw them circle. Yeah, we did. We saw, asked, asked, saw them circle. In the middle of a cornfield. Um, it was a little runoff. Yeah. Oh. It, was, it was pretty. It was pretty neat to see. I'm gonna get a couple of these out here. Right? Now, Brian, you've never been waterfowl hunting. No duck hunting. No goose hunting. I have not. Well, you're. We're about to pop your cherry this year, my friend. I'm excited. Yep. Well, take it like a man. Later. Maybe and I'm the Essex guy. Yeah. 
Yeah, like I said, it, it, it's got nothing. I mean, our original thing is we, we just want to reach out to you know our local supporting areas and people, and it was mainly just started up for fun, for fun, for friends and family and whatnot. And then we were like, well, look, if we're doing all this, it'd be kind of cool if we integrated, you know, some videos in, and and it's just it's just picked up. It's it's really neat. Which kind of took us by surprise, because we didn't, we really didn't think, like, we'd have as much support as we do now. Yeah. I mean, we've we've got more people in this past, what, two weeks, that have um, liked in um, our, our pages lately than we had since we started the dang thing. Yeah. It, it's, it's, and we, we appreciate it, you know. Um, right. You know, the, only, the, the, the thing I'd like to say to everybody is, you know, you don't have to be silent on any of these pages. Feel free to comment, ask questions on there. You know, it's or or criticize us if, if we're doing something wrong. If you feel that there's something we could do better, or you may have tried that seems to work, let us know. You know, we 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 we'd like to discuss it or even try it. Yeah. Josh, you're up, buddy. Um, now, um, Keith is also a big part of a uh, <coughs> uh, event that happens one uh, every oh, yeah. year. Um, I was part of it last year. Um, well, well worth the money um, spent. Oh, well um, worth. Oh, God. We're gonna touch it up. Um, it's called God's God, yeah, just touch it up. Um, God's Guns and Grills. God, Guns, Grills, Games. Games. Oh, so now it's, yeah. now it's four Gs. God, Guns, Grills, Games. Yeah. All right, it was triple G. Now it's quadruple G. Um, it's well worth the, like I said, the money spent uh, last year when I went. Um, they have tons and tons of things. Um, great auction items. Um, great people. They are very also family oriented. Very family oriented. There's a there's a live range for both handguns. I think handguns, correct? Handguns, rifles, shotguns. We we do everything from skeet up there to rifle. We shoot up to a hundred yards out. Um, and we have range officers up there, so everything is done safe. Um, I should take my four fifty. Yeah, give it to me. I'll touch it. So um, this year the big prize. We had talked about it on our page. Um, was we're going to be uh, raffling off, um, or giving away, whatever you want to call it, a uh, an AR, full AR-15. Not Stainless, fully auto, sadly. Right. Yeah, not fully auto. And for all those liberals out there, you can suck on it. And uh, that's all I got to say about that. And you can but, thank Peter O'Rourke for the rise in AR sales. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Um, but it's going to be a um, stainless steel barrel, fluted. Um, it's I, I forget what the um, lower and all that is, but the thing is sweet looking. It's probably by far one of the best ones we've um, given away. So, and like I said, all these proceeds, 100% of the proceeds, are going to what's called the Molly Coon Scholarship Fund. It's a place, um, it, 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 it's a church that's right up in Kingsville. And um, like I said, I, I've been a part of it now for a couple of years. And um, the person who originally had started, his name is Mike Noski, Michael Noski. And he's been a part of that church group now for a long period of time. And um, well, anyway, I, he's a good family friend of mine. And um, I met up with him and I just, you know, I, I, I completely agree with everything that this event goes for. It, 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 not only is it the hunting aspect or anything like that, it also has the um, church atmosphere too. Um, we bring praise and, uh, you know, it, it, it's an all around great event. It is. Uh, it's just, it's an amazing group of people that come together and 
it, 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 it's something that is going to stick going for years to, that we know to come because once certain people can anymore, I know I'm probably going to be one of the ones that step up and continue it. Um, the, the kids will have everything from bouncy things to uh, pumpkin patches, uh, painting your own pumpkins, apple, bobbin. I mean, there are so many things more for kids to do than anything. But, you know, I don't want it to come the wrong way that there's nothing for adults either. But the thing is, we try to integrate um, everyone into this event. And uh, we've recently been able to get into last year, was the first year we did it a week, because we found out that there's a lot of females that have been coming. And we, I, I, I've been able to get in touch with um, some local uh, jewelers, jewelry shops, and they've been graciously donating, um, you know, all kinds of jewelry. Uh, like Saxons, Cage Jewelers, all that. We uh, we raffled off um, hunt last year. We had a couple uh, four men goose hunt and duck hunting, uh, rockfish charter tournament. I mean rockfish charter. I mean there was just there was a lot of things and a lot of people that know about this now have gotten involved, and uh, it's really it's it's an amazing thing. It is. We'll put a, a link. Um, yeah. to it later. Okay. Um, you guys have any other questions for me? Why are you my friend? <laughs> I have no clue. I'm still wondering that myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's not saying much for me. Okay. Yeah, I remember the first time I met you. You were at the Easties. Yep. And I come walking in because I was picking up something from Jay. And um, you looked at me and shook hands and I remember Jason looked at you and said, do you know who this is? And he's like, no, I, I don't. He looks kind of familiar, but I, I, I don't know who he is. He goes, remember all those videos I tagged you in? You know, with the decoys? He's like, yeah. He's like, oh my God. He grabbed my hand, Brian. He shook it, like, vigorously. He's like, I'm your biggest fan. Oh my God. Like, these videos are awesome. And right then and there, well, I mean, we came best buds. But I was like, I never had anybody in my 16 plus years of making decoys sit there and shake my hand so vigorously like that and say they were my biggest fan. And I, I mean, that was like, I was like, damn, my videos actually do something. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It, it's, it, and I, I've had people reach out to me and they're like, you know, they're asking me questions and I'm like, look, you need to, you need to talk to him. Yeah. You know, there's people, I'm, I know there's people out there, you know, and I remember I remember that first day too, we were outside and we were talking. And I don't think we stopped talking for a good two, three hours. Yeah, and we did. It was it was it was it was, a, it was, it was a great time. And like I said, it, it's it's been not only is it friendship, but between you know us it's it's a your family to me. You yeah. know, and and it's one of them things. I uh you know, that's one thing we should do. We should take uh, Jason out there this one time. He always talks about wanting to go hunting. Guys, you gotta go out and look at the sunset. It is pretty bad. We can take a break. Break time. Um, we'll be right back, people. Like, there is literally, like, a rainbow. Aww. But of, like, of uh, the different, like, shades of the, the sun. Like in the rainbow. Right. I'm not against it. He's gonna ride his uniform later. I'm gonna sit here and keep doing work because, uh, yeah, we got a lot of this to get done, and we still gotta eat crabs tonight too. <laughs> so um, I'll just give you a quick uh, story about on my side. Um, well, I've been hunting since I was still in my uh, within my parents as a baby, um, but first time I ever yeah, did it was a couple years ago. Yeah, stop talking to yourself. I'm not. I'm talking to the people who are watching. And it feels like you're talking to yourself. Apparently, there's a bunch, a bunch of people uh, commenting. Is it? Yeah, except I don't know how to. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. I can't really see. Oh, let me see. Nope. Yep. Sorry. Um, your comments just yet. Um, I will get to. If you had any questions or anything like that, I will get to them um, after our video is done. Um, I apologize. I'm still trying to figure out. 
some way to have a you know live feed and um, answer questions at the same time. Brian was supposed to get his damn GoPro up and running, but uh, I don't know if he's just putting his thumbs over there or, or what's going on. So I'm gonna have to sit on paint in here. I'm hey, gonna, I'm gonna finish. Get, we can give you two seconds. I'm gonna finish <laughs> talking about what I was gonna talk about here. Oh, I'm sorry. Sir. Um, <laughs> Uh, like I said, I was brought up in the hunting through my uh, my family, and the one thing that my father swears up and down is, if he could do any hunting for the rest of his life, it would be goose hunting. And uh, you know, I, I've my father and I, we may not have the best relationship, but I love that man to death and everything he's ever done for myself and my family. I remember that in my father. Yep. And uh, yeah, my dad too. But. My uh, my father and I went out last last year, and I had probably one of the best hunts I ever did, and it was just me and him up in that blind that we hunt, Josh. Yeah. And um, I will cherish that moment forever. Is that before or after the catch out? Uh, it was after. Oh. Yep. So my battle scars are gone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now my father did a lot of goose hunting in his time. And um, he uh, he hung out of blinds, pits. He did it all. He was very, it was, they were very big down there on the Eastern Shore, in like Kent County area. I mean, and that, if you think about it, it's where the majority of that do something is. People no come, yeah, no good. Yep, people come from all over the world just to come down here and hunt the Eastern Shore. Um, our waterfowl is one of the top spots in the entire world. Um, I mean, you got Argentina for ducks and stuff. Ah, uh, sucker. Yep. Or but, sucker, or however you pronounce it. Yeah. Hello. 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 But, um, yeah, oh, e e it. Eastern Shore has some of the best waterfowl hunting in the world. That's not the same style. Oh, that's not <laughs> But, uh, I owe a lot of my, um, you know, <laughs> passion for, um, waterfowl hunting. To, to my father, uh, you know, and, and hunting, period, was through my parents. My mother hunts also, so. I was, yeah, my, my father got me into hunting, um, and Dad, if you're watching this, I love you. Um, he, um, he got me into hunting. I remember the first time we went hunting, and we were up at the farm, and I'll never forget it, because he's like, we're, we're hunting out of his truck, basically. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> And it, well, and then we went from there to a um, like a five-gallon bucket, and that's how you know we started hunting and stuff like that. And he, he taught me the ropes and what I need to do and how to do certain things, and, and it was well worth it. I, I, I absolutely loved it. And, I, and you know, getting into um, you know, in the waterfowl hunting, I, I don't deer hunt much anymore, um, just because the fact that. You know, for the time that it takes to sit there and go after a deer, I can sit there and do the same thing with ducks and, and geese and go arm my leg, mm -hmm. you know, very quickly. Um, you know, it'd be kind of cool. We should do it one time. You got to run. I forgot to take care of that. No problem. You know, it'd be kind of cool is if we did like um, a giveaway per se, yeah, for a hunting trip up on one, up, up on the property. We should do like um like comment share subscribe. You have to um you pick like a random comment. You have to get um permission from the one guy that has to make the line on. No, we're good. Um, um yeah. So let's do that right that, now. That would actually be really fun. Like so let's do that right now. To, to if you are watching this video, okay. If you like, subscribe, follow on both of our pages. Yeah, both. Blue Line Outdoors MD. And Blanchet Decoys. Now, you can find us both at the same um, platforms. Both here on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, and even though I don't have as many videos as these guys do on YouTube yet. But uh, like, subscribe, and follow, or whatever. <coughs> Alright, and then in the comments of this video. But why? Why they believe? why they think they should get this hunt. Okay, there you go. But why you feel you want you would get this hunt, why you want to get this hunt, um, 
and if maybe you're not wanting to hunt for yourself, somebody else, maybe why they they yeah. deserve it. Yeah. And Absolutely. Then, but then also put done, so that way we know yep, done. that you did, you know, you did what we asked. Um, and we'll say this a couple times throughout the video, um, so that way, you know, it's that other brush. Yeah. Um, but you must like and share both pages and this video if you want. There you go. There you go. That, is, that is the main thing. That's how you're going to do it. And you will be able to come out with us, um, sit in our blind, um, go out there. Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll get you out there, go out there some gifts. Um, Keith, now, now, now with, that, with that being said, what did I bring to our goose hunt that you absolutely love? The grill. Because why, Keith? Because, what did I do? Because we can cook out there. What, the what did I cook at our... Eggs. Eggs? Bacon. 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 Sausage. <laughs> and then what did I cook afterwards? We, uh, well, Keith went out in the woods because he was sick and tired of not seeing any geese. This was like the one time that we didn't see geese. Freaked a little out. I was, I was upset. I was like, like this is not girl. normal. And, um, well, he, he got a squirrel. <laughs> I, I shot a squirrel point blank, brought it back over, laid it right on the uh, wood, we cut it up, it. and we threw it right in the, uh, threw it right on the grill. Yeah. And uh, a little butter and uh, orange, orange juice. orange juice. We called it. Orange squirrel. No, I really back back to this. Uh, I guess we can call it giveaway, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I, I I really think this is a great idea because not only would you come out with us, but like I said, it, it, it it's not about just winning it. You, you, it's you about, about the experience. It's about the experience. You get to come out with us, us local guys, and we'll get to show you a thing or two. Uh, you'll have a good time. We'll, we'll, we'll probably supply breakfast and lunch, you know, depending on what's flying at the time and when we're going to get you out there. But the thing mm -hmm. is, if you win this for somebody, let them get that experience. Yeah. And what we're going to do is, it's not going to be for one person. It's going to be for two. Okay? So, that's two people. So, we'll, uh, we'll supply all decoys. We'll supply everything. Just make sure you have your hunting license and your stamps. Yes. You know, we want this legal. There is nothing going to be illegally done. We're, we're <coughs> not about that. Josh, grab it. I'll put it here. Yeah. Um, we want everything legal. So um, why don't we give a time limit, and let's let him pick the time limit on this. What do you think? Yeah, just just uh just the time limit when we're picking, yeah. Uh, who's picking me? Oh, the time limit. Uh, uh, oh, what's about Brian? Um. Uh, oh, week. Yeah. No week. A week. A week from today. Today is the twenty-first, I believe. Yep. Am I correct? Yes, uh, sir. So today is September, Saturday, September twenty-first. So one week from now would be considered Saturday, September 28th, 12 o'clock p.m. noon, we will pick two winners to come out with us and have a uh, goose hunt. So remember, rules, Josh, give the rules again. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, subscribe, share. Follow on both of our uh, media platforms, both face, both of ours at uh, Wrench at Decoys, and then uh, Blue Line Outdoors MD. Um, then <coughs> you got to make sure that you tell us why you want to win this on. Sh um, share it, and then also comment done after your, you know, why why you feel you you want this hunt. Um, so that way we know you are in it. And then one week from today at noon on the 28th, right? Yep. Um, we will pick the two winners. This will be for Maryland. Yes, Maryland. A Maryland hunt. Goose hunt. So like if they share, so when they share the video, yeah. like on Facebook, mm -hmm. we should put out a picture of like, us taking the decoys or whatever, 
and then put that on like Instagram or whatever, yeah. and then they can go on Instagram and yeah. comment. Don't. Yeah, fun, yeah. Well, so that's you know we'll do that. We'll put a picture of all three of us up on both of our pages, both Instagram and Facebook, <coughs> and then you can comment on that photo instead of just commenting here on the. That's video. a good idea. That, that one means picture. it's all designated yeah. to one picture. Yep. Um, And then again, you want to comment why you or another person deserve this hunt. Yes. Um, so, for those of you just joining again, um, sorry, we cannot see your questions. The phone is um, on the other side of the room, so to speak. Um, so that way you can see all three of us um, painting silhouettes for this year's goose season. Um, sorry. I'm Keith, a.k.a. Chunk. This is Brian, a.k.a. Rogue. And I'm Josh, and the owner of Blanchett Decoys. These guys are with Blue Line Outdoors. MD. MD. Keep forgetting the MD. Yep. Because we are in Maryland. Um, now, well, Josh, you're, you're now part of Blue Line Outdoors. Yes, I am. Um, I also just recently had the luxury of sponsoring these fine gentlemen um, for anything that they need decoy-wise. Hey Josh, <laughs> we need 16 dozen Bigfoots. What do you need? <laughs> <laughs> See that door, sir? <laughs> um, there you go. Uh, but uh, in all honesty, these guys are good. Um, they mean what they do. Um, they are uh, very good hunters, too. I even though I'm just going to say it too far with Brian, I don't know. Um, but um, I have been hunting. As far as deer hunting, I feel like I'm pretty decent, but waterfowl, it's a completely new beast to me. Yeah. This will be my first year actually going out waterfowl. It won't be too hard. Just remember, don't shoot the decoys. Don't yet. shoot the decoys. Oh, or people. Or, um, or cattails. Yes, I was don't, just about to say, or cattails. Don't shoot the cattails. Now, um, you, you, were, you were talking earlier, you wanted to ask uh, Brian, why the name Blue Line Outdoors and how it came oh, to be. Yeah. Go ahead, Brian. Okay, so some of you may know or may not know, three years ago, my father was, who was my father, Pat Daly, Senior Deputy Pat Daly, was killed in the line of duty in Abingdon by, stupid by some some guy that part of my friend asshole didn't have his head on straight let's put it that way yeah he was an asshole -ish. he was definitely 1096 yep okay um and my dad was a deputy for over 30 years he was was a United States Marine. He served on the SWAT team for Hartford County for 16 years. And when he started out, he was up in the Northern District of Hartford County. For those of you who don't know, the Northern District is basically uh, like Norrisville, Jerryville, Jerryville um, Street, stuff like that. Anything above Bel Air. Yeah. Um, so, the name Blue Line is basically showing our support for law enforcement and also kind of honoring my dad. But it wasn't only yeah, your dad that it was only, like that day. It wasn't only my dad, there was another deputy, Mark Walston who was killed trying to apprehend slash eliminate the threat. The threat. threat. And he was killed, unfortunately. Yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a sad, sad day for Harper County. And it's been for the past three years. Yep. 
and like I know a lot of people don't want to like talk about like their like emotions and shit like that but part of my friends that shit fucked me up real bad so this is how we got the name now I, c I came I was trying to get a hold of Brian a couple years ago, trying to get him out hunting, doing some things, and um, we we had talked about it for a while. We're only halfway there. Nice. Sorry. Sorry. What time is it? Midnight. <laughs> but uh, I reached out to Brian. Stupid me, just went to go look at my phone. Uh, <laughs> here's your sign. And um, like I said, Brian and I have a strong bond. And we are very, very good friends. And not only, you know, we are all a family here. And um, like I said, we we started just saying, okay, let's go hunting. To now we're filming things, talking about experiences, and reaching out to people like you what, that are here watching this video. So we we picked up some sponsors. Like I said, um, the newest, you know, we we, we picked up. For Blanchet Decoys, thank you, Josh. No we do appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we got Autumn Sky right down the road. Autumn Sky, Don Cullings, uh, right off of Conowingo, Route 1. Uh, great group of guys over there. Um, and I'll, I'll, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. They have everything you need as far as the outdoors go. I, mean, I get some uh, of my water stuff there, waterfowl stuff there. Yep. They are very knowledgeable people. Yes. They also uh, fix and repair boats. Um, they've got everything from kayaks. That's actually where I got my my new bow that I'm using this year. Oh, how sweet! Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was uh, the newest Hoyt. 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 Hoyt Carbon RX3. Hoyt, you guys. Hey, you guys. See, see, uh, some of these videos can be fun. Yes. Yeah. And um, the thing is with these guys, like I said, everything from fishing, to waterfowl, ammunition, yep. firearms, uh, clothing, um, or goose decoy, yeah. anything, waterfowl, decoy, I mean, everything you can imagine these guys have. So, I mean, again, some of the stuff they carry guys. seasonal, yeah. but some of the stuff they carry year-round, like the fishing, hunting stuff, like trail cameras. Um, Thank you, sir. Okay. Minerals, so you can replenish your mineral sites year-round, so that deer will keep coming back. Feeders. Yep, feeders. Blinds. Blinds, Blinds. yes. Yeah, they, got, they got tons of stuff. And they're knowledgeable people, too. Yeah. They're not, they're not, which I would love to pick up one of those big blinds that they have outside. You want that. You know what I want? I want the bike. The bike. Yeah, yep. okay. I want there the Rambo go. bike. They've got, and, and, and let me tell you, those let's Rambo take, bikes. Let's take they Bigfoot got, hunting. Freaking Sasquatch. Yep. Well, these Rambo bikes, they're a four-wheel or two-wheel two, drive. Yeah. Two-wheel drive. They can go uphills. It's electric. And you can even tow. Now, I'm not talking a vehicle. But you can put a little thing on there and put your deer or moose or whatever you got in the back of that thing. It, maybe not a moose. Uh, no, I don't know. That I don't know. It's, got, it's got a nice toe damage. Does it? Yep. Yeah, it does. And it's silent. It is. Yep. It's a killer. So for any of those needs, please reach out to Don uh, out there at Autumn Sky Outfitters right up in uh, Carmingo Valley. Back to us. Back to our early schedule program. program. <laughs> um, so, on top of uh, with my Blanchet Decoy page, I also have a podcast, which I um, recently just asked these guys, well, congratulations like, just keep, um, so Brian, this is like the first time he's hearing of it, um, to introduce these guys to the podcast. Um, it is called Decoys 200, or D2H. Um, you can find it on all the podcast platforms, um, including Anchor, um, which uh, actually sponsored one of my podcasts, um, so to speak, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, I talk about what's new in the shop here. Um, I also talk about tips, tricks, 
and uh, what's new, um, what's old, you know, what's going on, and then any um, thing as far as um, information on certain things. Like I've done an episode on paint, which um, I was still out for a second. Yeah, no problem. Um, the paint I did was uh, with um, you know about the certain paints I use, which is Ronin and Rust Oleum. Um, Rust Oleum are armed by like blacks and whites. Um, these ones are the only ones that are actually being fully painted with Rust Oleum. Um, but uh, for the most part, majority of my decoys are painted with the Ronin paints. Cool. Yeah, it sounds like you're talking to yourself in here. I, I know. <laughs> I feel like it's Keith all over again. <laughs> hey, Keith, come here. Um, <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, um, guys. But one day, maybe, you never know, may, maybe I might get sponsored by Ronin. Um, their paints are amazing. Um, so are Ross Williams. Um, then I use other things, too, um, for the decoys. Did you hear that? It's the common. Um... And um, another product that I use regularly is Type Bond um, glue, wood glues. Um, you can find them on Instagram. Both of them, both Ronin and and um, and uh, Rust Oleum and Type Bond, all on um, Instagram and Facebook. I don't know if they're on Facebook. I haven't, I haven't figured that out yet. Um, I'll have to look. Um, but they're what I normally use for. Decoys, except for these, these are all getting like, like painted in rust oil. So the paints we're using, oil based. Yep, they're all oil based, so they won't have to put a, a clear coat on them. For the, uh, they'll stay out there pretty good for quite a long time. Um, but we got, of course, the flat black, the flat white, um, flat brown, and then uh, I think it's rusty metal um, primer, um, which is a lighter brown. As you can see with these, pull it up. Um, just a straightforward block painting that we're doing. Um, they'll still get the white down here by the bone, and then uh, the distinctive mitten. Oh, that's like perfect for a painting. That was nice. Um, a dist yeah. the distinctive mitt, like uh, nice. mitten on the cheek on either side. Um, of course, yeah, each side is probably a little different because we're not going to, you know, Goose Ape isn't paying attention to. Uh, detail. you just worried about, hey, look, there's other guys down there. Um, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm like deer, which... How about you put some more paint on that brush? We're not dry brushing here. Um, besides that, um, I think I might hang up the phone for a little bit. Um, reminder, uh, we'll answer your questions here in a second when the phone goes off. Um, but these are my special guests today here in the shop. Oh, one more time. Let's yeah. talk about, uh, before we sign off, let's say one more time about our uh, little contest. Oh, yes. Our first, by the way, it's our first, first contest, contest giveaway. And there'll be more. Yep. We'll, 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 we'll have some uh, things to give away from time to time. Um, now, now, wait a minute. Is this a contest through me or through so both you us. Okay. Well, so it's, both it's not me. actually you because, remember, you're part of Blue Line Outdoors. That's true. So either or. Um, so we'll just make it a blue line outdoor thing since we're, that is like more of an outfitter, so to speak. Um, so, rules are again, with the contest, if you want to do a um, hunt with us, um, we're going to pick two people. you got to like, subscribe, share, follow both of us on Blanchett Decoys and Blue Line Outdoors MD on both Facebook. MD. MD, Maryland. Abbreviations, MD. Not medical not, doctor. Yeah, not medical doctor, MD. Um, it's okay, I'm a dentist. <laughs> I'm a dentist. That's D D A S. Um, uh, oh no, I haven't showed you the video. I'll have to show you it later. Okay. Um, like, subscribe, share, follow us on both on all our platforms, which is Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, and explain why. You have to explain why you want to hunt. And then also the word done in there. We'll post a picture of us all, th all three of us sitting here um, painting these geese. Um, that will be the, the image that you comment under. Um, if you comment under this, it won't count. Um, we're sorry, but that we're, I mean, rules are rules. You're following. Yep. Um, we'll even probably wind up uh, filming the hunt. Yeah, so yeah. we'll probably film the hunt. Um, it will be at the blind, um, probably with myself and Keith. 
We're not going to tell you where yet. Yep, not not where yet or when. Um, but you got to have your license, um, both hunting and stamps, both duck and um, both ducks and um, like was it the federal and state, federal and, state. and state duck stamps. Um, if you do not Maryland for Maryland, um, well the federal is federal, but the um, the Maryland duck stamp you have to get. Um, it's just it's not really a precautionary thing, but if you happen to shoot a goose and you don't have either one of those or a duck, you're you're done for. Or we can be done for. Um, so please make sure you have all that. If you need help getting that, um, if you've won, um, we will certainly answer any questions that you have and where you can get this stuff. Um, but besides that, I'm going to hang up the phone um, for the night, at least a little bit. Remember, look for the picture. Um, it will be on all both of our platforms, um, both on Facebook, Instagram, um, but it won't be on YouTube because you can't really post the picture. To YouTube. Actually, you can. Oh, you can? You'll have to show me. Um, so maybe YouTube, maybe mine, just you be um, <laughs> Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. It's like a new thing they, they did to uh, YouTube. Oh, you know, recently I have seen that. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. So, um, Whoa. once again, I'm Josh. I'm the owner and I guess founder, really, of Blue, uh, Blanchett Decoys. And co, 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 uh, co, what do you call that? Member slash co member, whatever you want to call it. Co uh, yep. Blue Line Outdoors, MD. MD. And um, these guys are from Blue Line Outdoors, MD. Like I'm this. Keith, I aka know. Chuck. Brian, aka Rogue. And Sarge isn't with us tonight, but we miss you, buddy. But glad you're spending time with your boy. And we'll see you guys later. I think I need.